Well, good evening and welcome back to the channel. Today it's Sunday and it's actually Sunday evening right now. So I've been on the farm today. We washed off the Land Rover, got the lights fixed on the front box for the weight box. So that's now ready for muck spreading. Unfortunately, the weather's been really bad today and it's looking that way for the rest of the week, which isn't good because I need to get on with the muck spreading. Um, later on in the week, there's the wheel loader coming from Manitou, which is the MLA that will be arriving. And then also on another note, someone sent me this today, which I thought was quite cool. Anyone who recognizes this, this was my old 6930 from back in the day, it's 2010 model. Um, but yeah, someone sent me this today, which is a John Deere 7530. Uh, one lonely farmer previously spoke to me about this tractor at Llama. It's done 4,000 hours, it's in really nice condition and it has command arm with 50k. Now, 7.530, quite a bit more powerful than my old 6.9, 205 horsepower on boost, slightly heavier machine as well, but near enough the same for what it's worth as a 6.9. Um, but I was thinking, you know, we could really trade the 6R in for this, uh, the 6.155R, um, but I do sort of like the 6R. It has ad blue. Yes, it's got, you know, some emission stuff on it, but it is quite a comfortable tractor. But let me know in the comments section, 7530 or 6155R, because I was seriously thinking we could trade that 6R in the yard for the 7530. And then you'd have 7530 and a 69. But that being said, I do kind of like the 6R. And I think this has made me realise that I do, I do appreciate the comfort of the more modern 6R, which I never thought I'd say, um, because I do kind of like the old 30 series as much as the 6R as well, so I, I like a bit of both. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section. There's also another 7530 for sale, which, funnily enough, was at Cheffins, um, which we're hoping to go to this week. It's actually on tomorrow, the Cheffins auction for February, and this one's done 13,000 hours. You'll probably get it for a much cheaper price than the one we just saw, which had only done 4,000 hours. This is 59,500 pounds. Probably, if you service it, put some new tires on it, you're talking 65, 70,000 pounds, but it has done a lot less hours. It's only done 4,000 hours, whereas this one's done 13,000 hours, as you can see there, 13,500 hours nearly. So just goes to show that these 30s are great and they will do the hours if you look after them. And I do wonder if the 6R in the shed, the John Deere 6155R, will do those sorts of hours. Um, it is gonna be really, really interesting. So I might whip down, if I get some time this week, to Cheffins. I was hoping, to be honest, to pick up a 6910 and have a, have a look and see if one of those is available. It's also got 50K, this one here, the 7530, which is pretty cool. Um, they are becoming rarer, the 75s and the 69s, but they are around if you want them. To be honest, I'm after a third tractor to go on a wrapper and to do lighter duty, so I don't need anything too powerful. Hence why I say just the 6155R is enough for us. You know, the 6R is like my 7530, um, really. It's either one or the other. But I, I am tempted to trade the 6R for a 7.5. So yeah, leave it in the comment section down below. That being said, I do kind of like the 6R. It's comfortable. Um, but for anyone who watches the channel, you'll know that I just spend most of the time in the 6930 anyway. Um, so yeah, not sure about the 6Rs, to be honest. I'm not sure if they're going in the right direction. Certainly they were better when they were built back in the good old days. So whilst this weekend I've been mulling over the 7.5, which has come up for sale, and there's also the one at Cheffins, which we'll have a look at. Um, I'm also thinking about I've got the old Land Rover, gave it a wash off today. I love the Land Rover, it's a great bit of kit for farm work, but really the Polaris Ranger does a lot of the farm work now. So, I you know, I get invited all over the place, all over the country, I'd like to go to Europe, I'd like to see a bit of the world, and really the, the Defender's holding me back. And as much as I love that car, um, you know, I've been after one for such a long time, um, I've, I will keep it, but it is holding me back. And I found that out when I went to Llama this year at Birmingham. And so many people were in pickup trucks and sort of long range, longer range vehicles. And I was in the Land Rover and I thought to myself, yeah, I, I should probably get something long range. And I, I was thinking about one of these, which is a, a Toyota GR Yaris, which is souped up sort of hot hatch pocket rocket, if you like. You can get the manual. And I think there's also a new automatic version available. But I was thinking about one of these to go with my Defender so that I could go on long range trips. So if I wanted to go and see a farm in Scotland, say, or up somewhere in Yorkshire or any other part of the country, I could use it for long range 
long range jobs. Might whip down to France in it, might whip across to Europe, continental Europe, Swiss Alps, things like that. Um, leave a comment in the comment section because as I say, as much as I love the Defender, it is holding me back a little bit now, but I will keep it. And I, I, my hope is that one day if I ever have children, they would be able to use it as their first car because it's safe, it's practical, it's slow, which is quite a good thing. And I, I, I don't know if it will still be going in the future though with the emissions. So it all depends on the emissions regulations, which would be sad if they did, if I wasn't allowed to keep the Defender, but there we go. I mean, another option as well is I sell the Defender, I trade that in and then just get a Yaris or something like that, a GR, little hot hatch to go as my main workhorse. Depends what I can stretch to, I suppose, and what you want to invest in. At the moment, I'd like to invest in some more cattle. We'd like some more marshes later on in the year, maybe as well. Marshes are interesting, especially for silage. We didn't make enough straw this year. We've nearly run out of straw. So we'll need to bail up some more with a fent baler. And George is getting us some recycled net wrap from Tama, which will be quite fun to try that out. Just something a bit different. And hopefully in the long term, it's going to be a slightly cheaper net wrap because of the plastic tax. So unfortunately, it seems like we're getting taxed on everything these days. But yeah, leave a comment in the comment section about the GI Yaris. And would you have a 6R1, 6155R or would you have a 7530? I really like these a lot. So yeah, enjoy your evening, whatever you're up to. And I'm going to think about a 7530. This one's too expensive, but I could buy an old one and do it up like the one at Cheffins. But 13,000 hours is, is too much. Catch you in the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.